get ready to torch 300 calories with this cardio boot camp workout. All you need is a pair of medium sized free weights. Let's do this. All right, you guys ready to bring it? I hope so. Jelana and Casey are ready to bring it too. We're gonna start with a little warm up. So we're gonna start with a little knee hug and we're gonna take a straight leg step back. Keep your leg nice and straight so you feel that hip flexor and then you're gonna reach across your body and you're gonna repeat this move. So you're going nice tuck and then straight legs so you're almost flexing that back glute. You're really gonna feel a good stretch through that hip flexor and you're working on a little bit of balance. We're doing a little active release before we get started with this cardio boot camp. Let's switch sides. So we're gonna go nice little tuck, straight leg, nice little bend in that front knee, reach over and repeat. Are you ladies ready? So ready. For what's about to happen in your life right now? Bring it, Anna. I'm not cardio. gonna lie to you guys today. It will not be an easy cardio workout, but you're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna torch massive calories today, and then tomorrow you can take a lighter day, okay? Everyone needs Is that a challenge. A deal? Yeah. Is that a deal? Let's All right, let's it. jog it out. We're gonna do another little active release for the quads and hamstrings next, okay? So jog it out, get the blood flowing, calm before the storm. Now let's go into a nice quad stretch. So grab that toe, give it a little one, two, and then I want you to put that heel to the floor, toe up, reach towards that toe, stretch the hammy. Love that. So then bring it, same thing. If you can balance on that same leg the whole time, amazing. If you have to touch the ground in between, that's okay, all right? So there, bring it up, give it a nice stretch. You're just kind of pulsing, really opening up that quad and that hip flexor, going down. Oh baby, I love it. One more time on this side. Really squeeze it, one, two. And then hamstring, nice stretch. Good, all right, let's do the other side, ready? Going into that quad, nice little one, two pulse. And then reach. Now remember, when you're pulling that heel up to the glute, don't let that knee kind of sprawl out like this, right? You wanna keep that knee pointed towards the, uh, towards the floor. And you really wanna keep that thigh close together. So your thighs are pretty close together your knees facing down and you're getting that great release. Hamstring. Oh, I love this one so much because you guys know how lovely and tight my hamstrings get, right? I don't know about you, but I'm always working on it. My one quads are time. tight. Hamstring stretch. All right, now jog it out. Next, we're gonna go into a gate swing with a groin stretch. So here, you're gonna start with your feet together. You're gonna jump out into a gate swing, pushing those knees out wide. You're gonna twist, really to get that extra groin stretch, jump together and back out, right? So getting that nice rotation. I think you've done this with me before, but this is such an awesome way to start warming up the inner thighs, the legs, the cardio. Ooh, baby, good. Couple more seconds here. Let's twist, twist, good. Breathing it out. One, two, I love it, good. Last one here. Side to side and relax, good. Okay, jog it out, shake out the legs. Maybe add a little extra butt kick here. Get those hamstrings fired up a little bit. Beautiful. We're gonna finish on the floor, warming up our shoulders, warming up our core, all right, with a reverse inchworm. So what I want you to do is come down into a push-up position, okay? And now normally an inchworm, we walk our hands in, right? But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna walk our feet in. I want you to stay on your toes, and I want you to go nice and tight with your core here. Abs are pulled in, really squeeze the core, and then walk out. Ooh. All right, now this, the further you can walk those feet in, the more you're gonna feel it in your shoulders, in your abs, try to keep your legs straight. Ooh. Good, and then walk it out, keeping your legs long. You're just walking those toes, hold that, uh, that plank. Feel your abs tighten up a little bit. Walk it in, come on. I'm already winded, you guys. What is gonna happen during this workout? Good, walk it out. Breathe in one more time. Walk it in, really tighten up those abs. Come on, pull those abs in. Those abs will help you walk in. You're almost doing a handstand here. And then walk it back out, good. Come down onto your knees, stretch out your arms. Give it a nice extension through the shoulders. Good, then go to the side. So bring your hands over. You're just opening up your back and obliques because we're about to work that torso, okay? All right, other side. Open up that shoulder, open up those obliques. Nice extension. This is a little bonus move for you guys because I know we're gonna need it. 
All right, good. Now pop it up onto your feet. Grab your free weight. You can have anywhere from a five to a 10 pound dumbbell. Don't go heavier at first, just till you get familiar with the twisting movement. So we're gonna do a squat and chop. Pretend like you've got a kettlebell type weight in between your hands. You wanna hold it with both hands. You're gonna go down for a squat, come up and chop across the body. So you're rotating side to side here. All right, so squat deep, rotate, allowing your hips to rotate and pivot your foot. All right, you don't wanna plant your feet here. Let that outside foot rotate and exhale as you twist. Good. Rotate, exhale. That breath really helps you. It does. <laughs> so we're gonna warm up here with this circuit. Three different moves here. And I wanna start with this one because it's working your legs, it's working your shoulders, it's working your torso. There's a lot going on here, guys. <laughs> All right, last couple seconds. Three, last one, two, and chop it over. All right, so that gets you working a little bit. Cardio's high. Now using your mat, we're gonna do a burpee with a row and press using one weight and one arm. So we're gonna go up for the overhead press, come down, bring it to the floor, stabilize it, jump or walk your feet out, wide feet if you can, so that you can row that weight, bring it to the floor, jump in, curl, press, and we're right back down into it here. All right, so you're out, you're gonna row at the bottom, and then you're gonna jump in, curl, press, keeping your back nice and flat here on the jump. So it's kind of like, I call it the burpee, row and press. All right, you guys looking good? There's a lot going on. Good, I know. <laughs> it's like, pat your head, rub your belly. <laughs> good, and now my feet are wide because it makes it easier for me to row this 10 pound dumbbell, right? All right, we're gonna switch sides. Other arm, let's do a press. Good, down. Jump it out or walk it out. Row, Woohoo! This side of my body isn't as strong as the other side. Good, so keep working at your own tempo here. We're going nice and slow so that you can get into the rhythm. You can feel your body really warming up. Back and forth. Now this is another full body move, as you can kind of tell, right? For sure. <laughs> this is why we're starting with these. Back and forth, you're looking good. Heavier the weight is, the harder this one gets. So really use your legs, stay low, and overhead press, down. Beautiful, last one here, nice wide feet. Row, down, jump it in, curl. Give me that last press, good job. All right, now, holding on to your weight or set it down, whatever you need right now. You're gonna start from the side of your mat. We're gonna do a high knee across the mat. All right, so hold that weight nice and steady in front of you. When you get to the end, you're gonna do a low crab walk to the other side. Burning up those thighs, Ooh, oh right yeah, away. baby. All right, come up, high knee, abs in tight. Get there, then you can modify that high knee. Casey's showing you that. All right, it could be a slight little run, but then try to get as low as you can here. If you need to drop the weight, that's okay. One more time, come on. Over across, walk it slow. All right, now we're gonna change directions here. So, stay low, let's go the other way. You know, because we want to make sure we're balancing off that right, right and left side. So now we're high nang the other way. Why is it so hard to run to the left? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is why we got to train the body in both directions, right? Good, good. High knee. You got it, you guys. You're looking great. Let's low walk. Keep that chest high. No hunching. None of this. Make sure you can see us. Last one. High knee across. Good. Breathe. Okay. All right, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that circuit with our weight in hand. If you need a sip of water, you can take it. Let me warn you, this is twice as long for each set. The reason being, because we are not going to your squat, rotate. We're not adding weight. We're adding time, repetition, okay, to increase the intensity in this second round. You can do this, all right? Focus on your form. Focus on your breath. Think about how strong your body is getting at this moment. Come on. It. Good, tight abs. When you rotate, I want you to feel your core flex. 
right? Pull the belly button in towards the spine. Keep your abs engaged. Arms are long. Throwing that weight up isn't easy, but you're a warrior. Warrior princesses out there. That's right. Good job, come on. Couple more seconds. Breathing it out. Nice work. Keep it up, you guys are looking amazing. Couple more seconds here. Cross it out. I know, right? It's dragging for you, isn't it? Yep. This is when you get better. When you wanna stop and you don't, you get better. That's what you want. Have that need, have that urgency to wanna quit and then push through and you're gonna get better today. Let's go. Yep. Last couple seconds. Three, two, one. And relax, I'm so proud of you. Good job. Now, burpee row and press. So, start with the same arm you did last time if you can. We're alternating in between, all right? Making sure you press, keep that nice, soft elbow, come down to the floor, jump out. You're gonna row, bring it down, jump in, stay low, curl, and press. You got it. Down and up. You guys doing okay over Ooh. there? Yeah. All right. Hang it in. I gotta know that my girls are still with me. <laughs> Always. All right. You guys are looking great. Now here, when you jump out, you can keep your feet wider so you really protect your back. All right? That row is hard to do, especially as your weight gets heavier. Yep. Bring it in. Good job. Couple more. Then we'll switch sides. Twice as long. It's gonna be twice as hard. I can know you can do it. When are you breathing? Right here. Breathe. In. Press. Good. One more on this side. Down. Row. Exhale. Exhale. Breathe. Good. Other side. Let's do it. Now, do you find your breath? When you focus on it, you're gonna feel it more. Press. Come on down. You guys are gonna be able to work through your workouts with more intention, more strength. If you focus on the breathing. But you do it in yoga for a reason, you guys. Don't lose that just because you're using weights. Good. Down. Out. Row. Good. Abs are tight. Notice how I stay a little bit lower when I jump in. That's my style. You don't gotta do it, but I encourage you to really keep your back flat as you come up with that free weight. You don't wanna be hunching forward. All right? You're a killer. I know, we got one more, come on. Last one. Last time you have to do this one though. So you gotta be loving it. Now my shoulder is feeling it, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, so if you gotta drop your weight right now, it's okay, okay? So keep it in hand if you feel like you're up for the challenge, but listen, if you need to catch your breath a little bit, I want you to keep moving. So keep moving, just modify, all right? Get there, squat it out, stay low. You're creeping by. Good, up there. <laughs> My glutes are feeling it Be too. The, exactly, Jelana, mine too. My quads are actually a little jiggly right now. Woo. Feeling the jello. That's it, core strong here. Pick the knees up. Feel that cardio. Your heart is beating. Oh yeah. Which means it's getting stronger. That's right. Good job, you guys. Cardio boot camp. You only need medium sized free weight. All right, so I'm using a 10. My girls here are using five and eight. You can get it done either way. We're gonna go the other direction. You ready? And go. Oh man. <laughs> I know, right? It's a burner. Good. You guys are doing great. Knees high. Good, low. I know. This one here. Just tell your friends you have a fun exercise for them to do <laughs> at the park next time you oh, guys yeah. are out. And show them this move. And just say, guys, only two minutes. They're gonna love it. You can do this. <laughs> you only gotta do it for two minutes and they'll no longer be your friend. Okay? <laughs> just kidding. They'll love you. It's so love Tell them I sent you. You're my protege. Good. Come on, high knees. You only got two more. Good, low. Walk it out. Breathe. 
and high knee. Across, like you mean it. Oh my gosh, my arms are also feeling it. Okay, hello. Set your weight down, grab a sip of water. We're gonna go into a new circuit. I know, everybody clap. No one's clapping. Woo! I'm clapping, I'm ready for a new circuit. We're so happy. Okay, we're gonna start on the floor with a little chest fly. And try. Working our arms, but let's work our butt too. You know, so when you come down onto the floor, I want you to bridge up. All right, have your feet underneath your knees. Lift up, squeeze your booty. Bring your weights above your chest. All right, you're gonna open into a chest fly. So bend the elbows, let them tap the floor, and then squeeze, straighten out the arms, bring your weights together, okay? Mm -hmm. Open, good, and close. We're doing a few just to warm up the chest, and then we're gonna alternate. All right, so tap the elbows, but bending the knees, I mean the elbows slightly, you guys. You don't want straight arms in a chest fly. It puts too much strain on your elbow, okay? Now we're gonna go open chest fly, and when we come together, let's do a tricep little skull crusher. So bring the weights apart, bend the elbows, keep them pointed towards the sky, bring them down towards the ears, extend up, and then go back into your fly. Open, good. My butt's on fire, oh, my yeah. hips are still up. Bend the elbows, good, down, lift, good, and open. Nice work, open, close, bend, extend, good, and bring it down. Ooh. Nice job, you guys, Ooh. okay. Now next, I wanna go into a side plank, external rotation. You don't even need a weight for this, okay? You really don't. You're gonna start on your side, lifting your hips, Okay, modified oblique side up. And you're gonna do a nice external rotation here. So you're bringing that hand open and then closed. Open and then closed. So here you're working the joint integrity in your shoulder. You're working your whole side. Oh yeah. You feel your obliques. Okay, and if you only have a water bottle, Casey, show them what you can do with the water bottle. I wanna drink it all out first so it's a little lighter. <laughs> Good, yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's switch sides. So let's get the other side. Okay, you're working on that side plank, but since we've got weight in our hands, we're gonna modify for this first one so you can get the feel for it, right? And what I really want you focusing on is that top shoulder. You're pulling backwards. Think about squeezing the back of your shoulder, keeping your elbow down towards your body, not up here. See, some people let their elbow just fling out. I want you here, elbow tucked in. All right, squeeze from the back of the shoulder. You're gonna feel that burn. This is your rotator cuff working. And if you have a strong rotator cuff, then you're gonna be stronger during push-ups, during bench dips, during anything that requires your shoulders to work. Ah, all right, beautiful. Now, last one we're gonna go into is a nice little narrow and wide squat. Oh my gosh, you feel me, right? So we're gonna go narrow squat into a wide squat. Narrow, watch Casey if you don't jump, but we're doing nice light soft jump, and if I'm a champ, which I will be next round, I'll hold my weight. Okay, if you're already feeling like a champ, grab it now. All right, so we're going in and out, nice and light on the toes, back and forth. You're looking amazing, good job. And if you're watching Casey, watch how she alternates what side she steps out with. All right, bringing it down and up. Last couple seconds. Burning. I know. I'm like, oh, tell me it's over. Good, and relax, extend it out. Okay, back on the floor, grab your free weights. Those were our three moves. All right, so going back down, I want you to come up, bring yourself into that bridge, lift the booty. All right, open the chest. We're gonna go open fly, and we're gonna go right into the tricep. Close, tricep, extend, good. Chest fly, nice soft elbow, good. Tricep extension, really squeeze at the top. All right, so when you go into that tricep move, you wanna come up to the top and squeeze those arms. Good, and open the chest, soft elbow, good. Breathe, exhale, keep your hips up if you can. If you need to rest them just for a second, that's all right. Keep your back flat on the ground or lift them up, squeeze the booty, get that extra burn. Good, nice job, you guys. Remember round two, 
we go a little bit longer, right? So drop your hips now. You get a little breather. Keep working the arms. You guys are looking awesome. Keep your abs engaged. Think about pulling your belly in. Breathe through. Good. Nice work, you guys look great. Good, I know, hopefully the arms are burning now. Oh yeah. Yeah. God, 10 pounds feels like 100 pounds. I bet. But you guys, at home, if you have to drop weight, you can. All right, if you can keep going with the same weight, keep pushing through it. The key is to keep form. So if you start losing form, drop your weights, okay? Or get lower weights. Shh, keep working, a couple more. Now lift your hips, last couple seconds here. Good, burn the booty out. Shh, nice work. Open, nice. Close, you got it, last two. Drop it, tricep. Let's go chest and try, one more. Chest, try, and relax. Okay, grab your lighter weight. Okay, we're gonna go for those nice little external rotations. So we're inside plank, and for here, I would say start, if you want, give yourself a challenge in a full plank this time. You have the move, you know what it feels like. And what you wanna do here, is open and close, feeling the back of that shoulder, but now you're working that underside a little harder because now you got a little more body weight. Okay, so holding it up. If you start to lose form, drop it down to the knee right away. Okay, if you start feeling neck pain, shoulder pain, anything uncomfortable up in the shoulder, then drop it down to modified. Okay, you guys are looking good. Breathe it out, good. Now drop the hips, modify, last half. Remember, it's twice as long. So I wanted to give you that little extra challenge. Towards the end, I want you to keep really good form. Keep going, you got it. Done it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> last couple seconds here. Breathing it out. We're gonna switch sides in three, two. My shoulder is on fire. Ooh. And one. Now when you switch, this shoulder has been working already, I know. So this is why it's very challenging. All right, you can start all the way up. I'm gonna do it just for my balance reasons because I worked the other side this hard. Now for half the time, I'm gonna stay up. But if you guys need to drop, drop. Keep your form, pull from the back of that shoulder. Exhale, bring it up. Shh, good. Focus on your breath. Shh. Nice, good. Second half, gonna drop it. Looking great, you guys. Really focusing on that top shoulder. Elbows in tight. <sighs> Obliques are pulled in, so I'm not letting your hips drop like that. Right, keep them up. Couple more seconds. Breathing it out. Guys, this water bottle's hard. <laughs> I know, this one, this one you'll, you'll be like tomorrow. Anna, wow, my shoulders are. Ah. Good, and relax. All right, come up to your feet. Now give yourself a challenge for this second set. I know it's longer but you can always drop your weight halfway through, right? So hold on to that weight, we're going narrow and wide, right? So let's start narrow. So we're gonna go narrow squat to a wide squat. My feet slightly point out when I go into that wide squat and that's good for my knees, all right? You don't gotta keep those toes pointed straight. Good, just giving your glutes and your groin a little different variation for that work in the squat jump. And notice how I'm not jumping to the moon. I'm just light on my feet. Keeping my back flat, not hunching forward. As soon as this starts to happen, the weight goes away, okay? Just so you know, drop it halfway through. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Good job, nice job. Couple more seconds. Okay, breathe it out. I'm dropping. If you guys wanna drop, we're halfway there. You're doing good. Boom. One more seconds, we're kind of more than happy there. <laughs> but we're almost there. Three, two, one. Yeah. And extend your legs, okay. Now this last one, you guys are gonna love it. All right, we're gonna go fast for the first round. Second round's a little longer. We're gonna go with a hurdle jump first. Imagine you have a hurdle right here. We're gonna get over it, boom, with a high knee jump. Casey, show them the modification. Boom, it's bah. Bah, bah, get that leg up. You don't even have to jump. But me and Jelana, we're gonna get over the hurdle. Done. 
I'm really trying to pretend <sighs> as if both of my legs gotta get over that thing. Right? Why is it so high? Exactly. <laughs> Good. Three, two, one. All right, now single legged lateral hop. Now it's a smaller hurdle. One leg over and back. All right, single leg. She's going two, but if jumping is totally off your list, Casey, show them the roll, right? So two or the roll, all right? That's gonna work your ankle and small muscles in your ankles and calves, and you still wanna work that. But here, single-legged, you're burning it at a higher intensity. Switch, other side. You guys are doing great. I'm so proud of these two. This is not, a, not an easy one. Thanks to you. I'm proud of you guys the most because I'm not right here watching you. So you could give up at any moment, but you're not. Nope. Three, good, breathe, two, and one. Oh my gosh. All right, now this last one in this circuit, one of my favorites. We're gonna go into a push-up and we're gonna do a wide pike. Here's what it looks like. You're gonna jump into a pike, but bring your feet wide and then back. All right? So Casey's walking it, we're jumping it. In and out. That's it. And nice and long. Remember pausing so you can really feel your core engage. Down, good. Jump it in. Good, down. Hike and back. Nice work. You guys look great. Good. Breathe. And back. Nice work. In and out. One more. In and out. Okay, last round. You guys ready? Yep. Here we go. Hurdles. All right. Really get the knee up. Make it work. So we're going up and over. Ah, ah. I think this is fun, actually. Nice yeah. Time. Thank you. This is one of our old track drills. My track coach would be proud. <laughs> yeah. I almost want to like take a take an extra step here. <laughs> So, I'm getting tired, right? So what do you do? Take a little extra jog in place, right? Last two. One and two. I'm so proud. Okay, so single-legged. Oh, let's do this. Cardio's hot. Side to side. Doing good. Breathe it out. Think about, hopefully there's a line on your floor. Good switch. Hopefully there's a line on your floor so you can try to avoid it. You wanna know why? You're working on your fine tune motor skills. So if you can avoid a line, you're working on other things other than just strength. That's like neuromuscular stuff. All right, that's agility. Switch, other side. <laughs> Good job. So we're switching again. Twice as long, I know. <laughs> Breathing it out, side to side. Other side, good. Last one, work on that line. See if you can avoid it. Don't hit it. Oh man, I just hit it. Shoot. It's like nobody can do it for the whole minute. Good, and relax. Okay, last one. Let's go pike, wide jump. All right, push up position. Feet out nice and long. Pike it in on the toes. Pull the abs in tight, back out. Good. Remember, keep those abs really tight when you bring those hips up. You wanna think about your core almost balancing you as you move into a, head, a handstand, right? So what if you had to go right from here up into a handstand? You would have to engage your core in a great way, really keep your stability. So think about that, keep it light on the toes, keep your body light. Weights on the shoulders and the abs. Last one. In, back out, and down. Stretch it out. 
You Woo! guys are amazing. I feel so good. Wow. There's something so gratifying about finishing a killer cardio workout. Yep. Breathe it out, a couple more. Bring it to the arms to the side again. Getting those obliques and back. Get your lats, open up those shoulders. You work those rotator cuff muscles today. You work those obliques, switch sides. Right, you work those shoulders going into pikes. Shoulder press, rows. Everything. Legs. So let's do legs next, okay? So what I wanna do is lay on the side. You guys are gonna go into a quad stretch first. And I'm gonna add a little here bonus. I don't know if we do this a lot here, but what I want you to do is you're gonna add a little IT band stretch to this. So you've got yourself here in a nice quad stretch. I'm gonna then place my foot on top of my knee and I'm bringing my leg almost down to the floor. All right, so this is just gonna extend here and give me a little IT band love. You guys feel some IT band love? Yeah. If you're not very tight, you might not feel this very much, but if your IT band is tight, this might be really hard for you to do. All right, so work on it. Don't push yourself. Just give yourself a light touch there. Good, release, uh, feels good, switch sides. Give yourself a nice little quad stretch on the other side. And remember, when you're in this position, you can either be here, not giving you too much here. So make sure that knee is pointing out and away from your body and it's close to your other thigh. Okay, they don't have to be touching. Now, I'm gonna add a little more IT love here. IT band love. You guys feel it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Good, it's different. Can you drop your knee more, Case? Yeah, sister. Oh, yeah. There you go. She's flexible, I know she can do this. <laughs> I'm the one that struggles. Come on. <laughs> Right? Julana, how you doing back there? This feels amazing. You guys, great job. <laughs> I love it. The last one we're gonna do is for the hips. So lay flat on your back. All right, you're gonna go up into that nice figure four stretch. What I want you to do is bring yourself into this position, flex your foot. You're gonna rotate your hips all the way to the floor. Now what I want you to try to do is stay in that same 90 degree bend with both knees and you're just thinking about pressing the knee away from your body. Not forcefully, you're just actively opening it. You're not letting it cave in like this. You're thinking about opening. You're gonna feel that through your back, through your hip, through your glute, and you can even hold on to this foot if it starts slipping away because of your hip tightness. That happens to me a lot. Sometimes I'll be so tight in my hips that I can't even get my leg around. Sometimes I gotta like shimmy shimmy it up. All right, so this is what it looks like again. You're gonna go into a nice 90, de 90 degree bend with both legs, right? You're getting a nice figure four. And then you're just trying to keep everything at 90 as you rotate to the floor. All right, again, you can hold on to this foot as you gently extend that knee away from your body. Try to keep your shoulders on the floor. Some people's arms will, will legitimately come off because their back is tight work on this one. Work on holding it so that your torso gets a nice stretch. And we're doing these stretches because they stretch multiple muscle groups at once. So if you don't have a lot of time to stretch, you guys, do one of these stretches that stretches multiple muscles at a time. And then the last one that we want to do is we're going to come up onto our feet. We're going to stretch out the shoulders and the triceps. So you want to grab that elbow, reach your hand in the middle of your back, really pull the elbow to the midline, all right? You're pulling it into the midline, and then you're reaching that hand to the middle of your back. You feel that? Yeah. Oh, I feel that, I like it. Good. Other side, reach it up. And should we do the bonus shoulder girdle stretch? Oh, it's definitely. Because you guys worked your rotator cuff <laughs> today. Please, please stay, don't leave, don't leave. If you press stop, I'll be offended, but this one's really, really good. So remember this one, you put your hand on your hip like you're sassy, you grab your elbow and you pull forward. All right, so your wrist shouldn't hurt because it should be naturally bent. And then you're grabbing the elbow and you're getting a great stretch through your shoulder girdle. Nice. Feel that? It feels good. And you might feel it in the front or the back of your shoulder depending on what muscles in your shoulder girdle are tight. 
right? Because it's stretching a lot of muscle groups. Go ahead and switch, wrist on the hip, right on your side, just like this. Grab the elbow, try to let your chicken wing open up, right? Your chicken wing is your scapula. So is that thing just relaxing or is your, is your neck up like this? Think about, I gotta relax my shoulder, let my chicken wing open up. <laughs> I know I call it chicken Give me. But it is a little bit like a chicken wing. You know <laughs> yeah. it is, right? Honesty hour, it isn't is. isn't attached to anything but cartilage. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, you guys, great job today. So proud of you. Working it, working it, way to go. Nice work, everybody.